Good afternoon, everyone. This is your girl, Dana Dorothy Pigar. And JJ Benitez. So, ngayon, we're here to tackle about cheerleading. So, first, alamin muna natin kung saan nagmula si cheerleading. Or cheer dance, rather. Ganun. So, Jason, ba nagmula si ay, ano, cheer dance? So, yung origins ng cheer dance, nag- nagsimula siya sa Amerika. We back 19th century, originally, all-male lang ang cheerleading. Mm-hmm. Tapos, noong 1920s, pina- pinayagan na na sumali ang mga babae sa cheerleading. Ah, so hindi pala talaga siya all, ano, kasi nowadays, it's all, ay hindi naman siya all, pero mostly girls yung nasa cheerleading. cheerleading. So, ano, yung cheerleading kasi, tsaka cheer dance, uh, in-invent siya ni, ano, ni... Johnny Campbell. 1898 siya, nung first na uh, na-create yung cheer dance or cheerleading. Actually, hindi naman ganun ka, no? Actually, parehas lang talaga yung cheerleading tsaka cheer dance. Ang dami kong actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, ayun. Di, di naman, dif- hindi siya different. Actually. Actually na naman, hindi siya different. Basta, yun, kasi, yung cheer dance kasi, yung word na cheer dance, dito siya sa Pinas nagsimula or dito siya, <clears throat> dito siya pinangal, pinala, pinangalanan, <laughs> pinangalanan <laughs> ng cheer dance. So, uh, way back in 19th century, yung cheer dance, hindi siya ginagamit na term ng mga Americans, saka British. Cheerleading siya or pep squad. Tapos, It was originally made to ano to cheer school basketball or football team ganun kasi yun yung pinaka parang ang tawag dito pinaka sports nila main sports sa basket ay sa America sa basketball <laughs> sa America yung basketball tsaka football team so um yung cheer dance it is composed of acrobatics cha choreography. Nakikita niyo naman siguro sa ano, sa sa TV. Meron din sa TV, di ba? Mm. Uh, so nakikita niyo naman siguro sa TV. So usually, <clears throat> ngayon, as you can see, uh, maraming girls sa uh, cheering squad. Pero dati talaga all male siya. Tapos um this have been a tradition sa America tas na adapt lang siya in different countries. So uh, without further ado, di na naman papababaan yung history kasi masyadong boring pa ganun. <laughs> Papakita na namin sa inyo yung elements of cheer dance. So, papakita namin sa inyo yung elements, basic elements of cheerleading or cheer dancing. So first is the arm motion. Yung gagawin namin yung arm motions is syempre, basic lang. Kasi <laughs> di naman kami cheerleader. <laughs> so, first is the high V. Yung high V, nakataas lang yung kamay okay. nyo. Na naka V shape. Tapos, syempre, close yung hands. Yan. So, high V, low V. Same with the high V, pero syempre, low siya kasi nakababa. Naka, naka, naka. <laughs> Pero close pa rin yung hands nyo. Naka-fist. Siya. Tapos, T. Sideward. Closed hands. Naka-fist. Tapos, next is touch. Yung touch, isang kamay lang yung nakataas. Straight siya. Tapos, naka-close pa rin yung hand. Touch. Touch down. Dalawa na yung nakataas. Siyempre, always close yung hands niya naka fist siya next is dagger yung dagger naman is naka nasa level lang siya naka um, below your chin tapos naka dikit siya sa side niyo is dagger it's dagger tapos clap simple clap and clap nasa gitna dapat siya tapos clasp yung class is like clap, pero naka ganun, naka side. Then next is 
down. Touchdown. Yung touchdown, parang pinakita namin sa inyo kanina. Touchdown na nasa taas. Pero this one, touchdown na nasa baba. So, gets nyo na ba? So, very important sa cheerleading is yung pagiging sharp. Yung sharp sa cheerleading or sa cheer dancing, yung mabilis ka kumilo. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tapos, kung napapansin nyo, if you always watch cheerleading competitions, they're very tight. It means naka, laging naka-squeeze. Laging naka, kung naka-touch down yung sides ng arms nila, naka-dikit talaga sa mismong body nila. So next na ipapakita namin is the jumps. But we won't be um, executing it. We will just let you see the videos ng jump. And it's and of course, ng iba pang elements. Three jumps that we're gonna go over right now are the pencil jump, the tuck jump, and the spread eagle. This will help keep you safe and improve technique. Guys, sana may naintindihan kayo sa diniskas namin. Diniskas. <laughs> oh, pwede naman. Bakit diniskas naman talaga namin sa kanila? So, just for a recap, yung una naming um, diniskas or tinakal is about the origins. So, nung 19th century all-male siya, 1920s naging um, co-ed siya. In short, um, girls are um, okay to join the, ano, the group or they're allowed to join the group. So, 1898, si Jan Campbell yung gumawa. Tapos, um, yung key takeaways talaga dyan, yung pagiging sharp is important in cheerleading. Kasi, as you can see, they're very clean when they move. Tapos, of course, very tight para maging clean. Kaya na sabi ko, they, clean, they are clean when they move. So, Yun lang guys, um, I hope na marami kayo naintindihan sa, or marami kayo nakuha, um, na, ano tawag nito, natutunan, marami kayo natutunan sa video namin, so, thank you guys, thank you! <laughs>